Welcome to NFSB.me Facebook page. I'm Chuck, the coordinator of community business for the New Frontier School Board, along with my colleague to this direction. Jamie, I'll let you introduce yourself, of course. Uh, Jamie McClintock, I work with the New Frontier School Board, continuing education, and I am the development officer. And um, as you know, you've seen Chuck's face before, you've seen my face before. So uh, we're here again today to talk about our trade programs. Um, so today's, uh, what we're going to do today is we have a couple guests who are going to talk about specific things. We have uh, one of our um, academic and vocational counselors who's going to be with us. Jane's going to talk about maybe some of the questions that uh, you may have as a student who uh, would be considering coming to one of our centers, or you may be a parent or even a relative of someone who are like, I know someone that this might be an educational pathway that I would suggest to someone and you just want to know more. So she'll be with us later on. And also we're going to have Amanda, who is our RAC coordinator. And that's uh, Reconnaissance des Compétences Acquis, which is a fancy way of saying that you may have work experience that can count for your certification. So that means you may not need to take an entire program if you already have, say, experience in carpentry and you have um, some tricks in the trades already in your belt. You may be able to uh, shorten your stay and get the diploma that you want. So she'll, they'll be with us a little bit later on. We want to show you maybe some of the visuals that we have in our centers. Uh, so we have a couple clips that we can show you maybe what it looks like. And we're also here if you have any questions. You may be sitting there right now or you may be watching it too late when it's not live, but we will definitely answer them later on. But if you have any questions, you can throw it out our way and if uh, we'll try to answer it. And if we can't, we definitely will get back to you with someone who can. So that's what we're going to do today. Thanks for joining us. It's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. So maybe the first thing we could do, Jamie, um, let's just show one of our centers. We're, we're yeah, for sure. So first up, I'm going to show Nova. Uh, I just wanted to, to remind anyone, if you guys have questions, right, right, those, pop those into the chat. We're, we're monitoring the chat. And uh, well, I'm monitoring the chat. Chuck, Chuck might be doing a bit more of the talking, but uh, we'll, we'll share those comments, those uh, questions that you have. And if we don't answer them today, we are doing more upcoming live videos, uh, kind of open house features because of the, the COVID reality. So let me get the my video ready for you all. As Jamie's getting the, the first clip, we're going to show you, we want to do like almost a little bit of a, a walkthrough of our center. So you can start whenever you're ready, Jamie. Um, of course, this is footage that we took a little bit before we ever entered the, uh, the COVID stages. So um, it's going to be uh, the center showing you the different type of programs that we have. And if you've never been to it, first of all, it's in Chattagay. So in the uh, MRC of Roussillon, it's only uh, 22 minutes away from the Angrignon Metro. If that's you're wondering where is Chattagay, it's on the South Shore, right off the Mercy Bridge. For everyone who's from uh, the Valley or the Chattagay region, of course, you know, it's on uh, Maple Street right across from the police station. And we have a slew of programs that are offered at uh, one of our biggest uh, centers. So, of course, from the Nova Career Center, you can do programs such as counting, um, automobile mechanics, such as welding and fitting, as you see there. We have hairdressing. We also have interior decorating and visual display, residential drafting, school daycare educator, uh, starting a business, um, and a lot of different programs. The first thing I would recommend, if you're not sure if there's a program for you, go check out our website. Is the, the number one place I would uh, recommend people to go first is www.nfsb.me. You can see our three centers uh, and you'll be able to see the different type of programs that are offered at each one of the centers. Each centers can have different programs and a program is usually what we would refer to as a, a trade. So a vocational program and they can run from different time frames. for some maybe four months long to some can be up to 16 months. So um, the time frame of each trade is different and the cost can be very different too. So that kind of gives you a, a look at our center. It's a state of a state of the art center, one of the uh, best vocational centers in Quebec. And I just wanted to bring up two things particularly about the Nova Career Center. They are the center of expertise. So what that means is they train the trainers almost. So in automobile mechanics and welding and fitting, our teachers are the most cutting edge in the educational path in that trade. And they help the other centers who would also teach auto mechanics and welding and help them keep updated and making sure that they're uh, staying current with the trade as it evolves through time. So that's the Nova Career Center. Um, if you have any questions, it's a great place to call. Uh, Rita is our receptionist, he will answer you. And uh, you can also get some services from our counselors there who are very uh, adept at trying to who steer you into the right pathway. Um, yeah. Jamie, is there anything you want to add? Go ahead. No, I just want to say, uh, like, so Chateaugay, right, we're right along the 30. So depending where you are going, right, you're, if you're traveling within the area of Vaudreuil, we're pretty close to Vaudreuil, we're in between with Brossard. Uh, and the other thing is the length of the program. So our programs, depending on what it is, right, 
It can be from four, four to six months right up until about 13 or 14 months, again, depending on which DEP program or if, uh, or sorry, Diploma of Vocational Studies, a DVS program, or if it's kind of a shorter, uh, different types of programming. So that, that's Nova. Go check. And I just want to, to clarify for some of it. We get this question sometimes, a DVS and a DEP. I don't really want to do the acronyms, but sometimes you'll see a DEP, a Diploma d'études Professionnelles, a Diploma of Vocational Studies that Jamie mentioned. They are the same type of certification. One is just the English version and the French version, where you're walking out with the same, in theory, same piece of paper. The value of it means to employers. Uh, if you're trying to go to say, well, do I have the trade? That's exactly the same thing. And pour notre communauté francophone, uh, vous avez le droit de venir à nos centres pour faire du formation professionnelle. La loi 101 s'applique pas quand tu veux faire du formation professionnelle. Nos professeurs sont bilingues dans nos trois centres. On a beaucoup de personnes que l'anglais n'est pas leur première langue. On a même des étudiants internationaux qui viennent de d'autres pays. Alors, si ça vous intéresse, n'hésitez pas à nous appeler euh, si vous voulez améliorer votre anglais en même temps puis faire du formation professionnelle. Peut-être c'est une option que vous le savez vous, euh, pour vous. Puis on serait super heureux de vous accueillir ici dans notre centre. Um, let's show one of our other centers, Jamie. I'll let you pick which one you want to show next. We have two other ones. Of course, yeah, you're, you're running the show behind the scenes. We have CVCEC, which is in Ormstown, and we have HAECC in Huntington. Um, those are smaller centers in terms of the number of programs, but what that means also is they have different programs, and sometimes the installations are a little bit different. So uh, what Jamie's going to be showing you first on this one is... Huntington Health Education and Community Center. I'm, I'm going to let Jamie take this one first because basically she started her career at New Frontiers there. So she has a, a very good understanding of the magic of that center and how, uh, how really it is a special place if you want to continue your educational path. Yeah, so the Huntington Adult Education and Community Center, it's located right in the town of Huntington. Um, it's a great, nice little community center. We have a ton of programs, kind of something for almost everyone actually there. Uh, we have the Diploma of Vocational Studies, which is the horticulture program, as well as landscaping there. Um, they, we also have uh, social integration services programs there for, for adults with special needs. And, and we also have partners in the building that we partner with and offer services to the community. So it's and, great. To, uh, oh, yeah, go check. And what's amazing is, say you don't live in Huntington and you're like, you know, I really want to do horticulture. I really want to do landscaping. Or maybe you have a, an adult child who would uh, benefit from a, part, a program such as SIS. We have a free shuttle bus that's offered to our students. So what that means is we've tried to find the, all the reasons why it may be difficult to come to do a trade or to do a program or your adult general education to help you out. So in the morning, it stops along our three centers in Huntington, Ormstown, in Chattagy, and we have a stop in Ganawage. It does that in the morning and it does it in the afternoon. So we've tried to set up the times of the programs to be conducive that if uh, you live, say, um, in Chattagy and you're like, I just can't drive to Huntington, that maybe this still is an option for you if you wanted to do landscaping, that we can get you to the school and center before your course starts and get you back. So that is an extra bonus of where transportation, which can be difficult sometimes, maybe we have the solution for that also. And some of you might be questioning, where is Huntington? <laughs> uh, so Chateaugay, right, from Mercier Bridge, from Montreal, you, you, you hit Chateaugay first, you continue along that 138, you get to Ormstown, and then you get to Huntington. So there's about, you know, half an hour between Chateaugay and Ormstown, and about 15 minutes between Ormstown and Huntington. But that shuttle bus is definitely the way to go. Um, and it's it's a free service for our students. So uh, kind of, why wouldn't you use that 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 awesome, amazing shuttle bus? Um, okay. So you want me to share the uh, the next one as well? We'll share the, the final center that we have. Like we said, we have three centers in our school board. Uh, it's the one in between. The north and the south is uh, Nova and Heck. And in the middle is CBCC. And they are the center of expertise for carpentry. So when you're looking at one of the most, I, I would almost say, uh, Canadian world-renowned carpentry schools in the country, CBCC definitely uh, has healthcare programs also. They have uh, a lot of great things that are there. The student life is, is really amazing. And so we'll start off with the, the fact that the carpentry school, um, we have a lot of people who come about a, sometimes out of province or definitely from the regions who are wanting to do carpentry in English. Uh, for a lot of people, sometimes they don't understand that just because a program exists doesn't mean that every career center has that. 
So if you're coming from the island of Montreal, the West Island, we have a lot of students that come from the West Island in different places. Um, this is where we also help train other centers to be uh, as up to date with the trade as much as possible. This is also a center, uh, you may know a few years back, we even partnered up with uh, Habitat for Humanity and built two homes for uh, people in the municipality of Ormstown. So that is another place if you're interested. Also, also we have health assistance and nursing. Uh, there's a huge demand to have people that working in the healthcare sector right now. We have a very good partnership with the CISMO, which is uh, the way I would call it the CLSCs, the hospitals all in the Multinus US. So we work in tandem with that. Most of our students right away when they graduate are getting a job in a position like that if they choose to, or they can go to residence and they can go anywhere they'd like. But there is such demand for people to work in those type of trades that uh, we're really trying to recruit people to uh, see the beauty of maybe going to a smaller center and maybe not be as big as some of the centers in Montreal. And that may be exactly what you're looking for. And uh, we're working on ways that if you have to move to the area to help you with maybe housing, to, to, to kind of show you where you can rent a place, the, the cost of housing there is very affordable compared to a lot of different places in the province too. So uh, it's a fantastic center too. And Jamie, I'm sure you have a lot of good stories you could talk about from uh, CBCC. Well, I am a, a local Ormstown girl, so I know the area well. It's a great little community. There's great things going there. Uh, I just wanted to say that if you're tired of listening to Chuck and I, don't worry. There's other people coming up. Jane and Amanda will be joining us later. And uh, we also, if you visit to our website, so www.nfsb.me, we have tons of information there. There's lots of, um, of success stories and the process to apply. So like Chuck talked about that. Uh, and yes, uh, my heart goes out to Ormstown because that's where I'm from. And my heart goes to Huntington because, you know, I've started there. But I've seen the great things Nova does. Uh, their connection to the community is also amazing. Um, they give back to their community and they, they're just they're, they're, they're there doing fantastic things every day. So I picked up on Jamie's cue. That meant, uh, Chuck, we're going to get in our guest because we're already 12 minutes in and she's really polite. So I get that. Jane's been waiting in our what we call our virtual green room. So uh, Jamie's going to bring her in. And, and Jane Fairhurst is our academic and vocational counselor. She uh, helps out students. And there she is. Just popped out just seamlessly. It worked perfectly, guys. First time we tried it. So we were just stalling for a little bit to make sure it worked, but it worked great. But as I mentioned, Jane works in the Valley at her centers there. And uh, she, I would say... Uh, has a good pulse of the student body, gets to talk to the students before they're coming in sometimes during the process. So Jane, thank you for being with us on this uh, first virtual tour officially. Um, and I, I really wanna get right into it. Um, if I'm someone who hasn't finished high school and right now I'm looking at my options and we know we're moving into the holiday season where there's gonna be a lot of maybe conversations at the dinner table right now of what maybe I can do in the future trade, adult edu education may be an option. Um, what do we have that we can offer that maybe you'd like to talk about to, uh, to our listeners out there? Well, I'd say the first step is to meet me or one of my workers, my co-workers. There's three of us that do this job here at the board. Um, and Because our job is to make sure that you have some guidance and some help. You're not in this alone to try to figure out what you want to do for those next steps. Um, once you do join, maybe you're working on academics, maybe you're going to join a vocational program, then what's going to happen after that? And so that's what we're here for. We're here to help you get in. We're here to help you with the next steps after. And uh, we have a real great team of people here to make sure that you have everything you need to be successful when you are here. So it's amazing, you know, like Chuck was saying before that these might be kind of smaller centers compared to what we're used to seeing in Montreal, but boy, can we offer you some great services and it's, you know, it's a great way to start off. So when you're speaking about the service and what we have to offer, so maybe we can talk a little bit about maybe what are the vocational options that are offered. And, and, and we talk a little bit about, like you said, if you maybe not had the best experiences in a high school setting and maybe you had a great experience, coming to the adult sector is not an extension of high school. It's a different type of reality, sometimes which fits maybe for, for others in a better way. Can you talk about maybe what, what kind of things we have to offer? Yeah, absolutely. So you're you're right on, Chuck, that this is not high school. This is an adult learning center. And so you're treated as adults. Um, with that, though, comes the support that you have here. You need help. You've got it. But um, it's a different vibe. It's a different feel. If you haven't quite finished up high school 
and you want to work towards Seja, we can help you figure that out. We can help you figure out what you need for your prerequisites. We offer a lot of the advanced math and science courses between Huntington and at Nova. Um, and if you just want to work on finishing your high school leaving, then we can do that also and figure out um, what you need to get to those next steps. And some of those next steps, you know, we have so many vocational <laughs> programs. It's really quite impressive. If you're interested in working with children, with accounting, you know, we saw the welding shops and that before, and horticulture, gardening, like there's, I personally, if I, you know, won the lottery and didn't come to work every day, there's three programs that I would personally really want to sign up to do. Okay, sure. <laughs> they're, they're amazing. Um, I'll give, you know, first time I had a tour of our carpentry program here in Ormstown. You were saying it's a center of excellence before. And I've grown up. I'm also like Jamie and I'm, a, I'm an Ormstown girl. I've seen this building here for quite a while. I was blown away. The facilities that we have in here, it makes me so proud. And it's not just for carpentry, it's for nursing programs and all the rest. The classrooms even are all set up with smart boards and everything else. But you know, if you're not sure what that next step is and you're interested in those vocational programs, um, it's important to know that um, the requirements for them can range from having grade nine to sometimes a high school leaving, but there's a whole range in between. You don't necessarily have to have your high school leavings. And I think it's also really important to know that it gives you a diploma, a recognized certificate from the government. And, uh, you know, that's quite valuable. For sure. And, and like you said, it's the best kept secret syndrome. You know, it's something to be proud of because there's so many good things that are happening when you're a best kept secret. But we want to really ensure that our community and and everyone knows what's going on in the buildings and that potentially what's going on in the buildings may be something for them or one of their family members. Because, you know, it's a shame if you're going outside of the area when you don't have to, where you don't have to pay for the, you know, transportation and all the different stuff like that. So that's amazing. And the last question, Jane, I would say, you know, um, if you're speaking to future students or current students, um, what are the type of questions maybe that you kind of hear over and over again that maybe if someone's watching this right now, they'll feel like, ah, I got the answer I need. And I got that little push to give you a call or call the center to maybe dig a little bit deeper to, to see if we have the right match for them. What do you hear a lot sometimes that you'd like to do? Well, for sure, I am concerns about finances. So how much is this going to cost me? What are tuition fees like? And the great news is we don't have tuition fees. There are, most of the courses have a small fee associated to them, um, but it's very manageable. And what we, another part of what our role is, is to help you um, make a plan financially. So we can help you get set up with loans and bursaries. And sometimes it's on Plaque Quebec. Um, just today, I presented two more financial aid programs to students. So there's always stuff like that coming up. So we're here to help you along that too. Thank you very, very much, Jane. Like I said, um, if anyone, very well done. If anyone has any questions for you, they can reach you at the centers, I imagine, and they'll, they'll get in contact with you. And every question is a good question, right? You know, that little adage, uh, I don't want to ask a stupid question that does not exist in, mm -hmm. in our sphere, right? Does not exist. Okay. Thank yes. you very much, Jane. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So uh, that was uh, Jean Fairhurst, of course. He's our academic and vocational counselor. Um, we're trying to show you all the people that you may meet before you come in. Really take a, take, a, take a moment and think about if this is a right fit for you. Don't be shy. There is no commitment if you call or you write to us too, right? You're asking questions to see if it's the right fit. Our goal is to match you with something that's right for you. Not to put you in a program because you called us, but to make sure it's the right direction for you. So we're going to bring in all when you, when you walk into our centers, right? We have guidance counselors there. We have people to greet you and help you on your path. So uh, looking on the internet might be overwhelming. You guys can always call uh, and speak with someone and we can connect you with, with the right, uh, with the right people. So Jamie's going to bring in uh, another guest because taking a program or taking a course is one direction. And the thing is, that there's so many different options that are available. And, and sometimes if you are someone who's already been working or has experience in a program, the RAC process might be something that might be the right thing for you. So we're very glad to bring in Amanda, another seamless entry into the show. Welcome to uh, the first ever live of the virtual tour on the uh, 
NFSB Facebook page. We need a name that is a very long description. Of it. <laughs> um, Amanda, thanks for doing this. And the first thing, we're not going to take a lo long time to get to the, the nuts and bolts. What is RAC exactly? Can you kind of talk to us about what that is? Well, RAC is a program that was designed by the Quebec Ministry of Education as a way of recognizing acquired competencies. So that's what RAC stands for, is recognition of acquired competencies. And competencies is kind of a fancy word, a way of saying the word skills. So what kind of things you've, you've developed on your own, maybe you learned it from your dad, maybe you just learned some things on the job, but you don't necessarily have the diploma in it. So you can't get the raise that you were looking for, maybe get a job in a new location, you're kind of stuck. Um, so this is our way of of bringing you in and recognizing what you already know in conjunction with programs that we are offering at our in our school board. And, and why would RAC, it sounds fantastic, why would RAC maybe be the perfect fit for some? Like what makes it the right match for, for, for some people? Well, the beauty about RAC is that it's flexible. So it, it is designed to work with people who are already working, they're already in the field and they already have a certain amount of knowledge. They don't need to sit in a classroom for 18 months, 14 months to learn things that they already have. The government has decided that people don't need to be, be taught in a formal environment, education that they already already have for themselves. And, and the nuts and bolts, like you, you answered it, it's not an exact science. There's not the exact, it takes this much time or that much time. Every case can be a little bit different. But so you're walking away with the same certification of if you would have taken the program itself, the piece of paper, or if you're going to an employer is worth the same. Um, can you tell us maybe about what do you do when you're ready to take that leap to kind of uh, go through the RAC process? What, what do you end up doing? Calling you? What happens? Yeah, exactly. So at the end of the day, you're ending up with the same diploma. We're going to be kind of matching your skills up to what the program requirements are, making sure that you, you hit all of those points. Um, and then you can contact me if you're interested in finding out whether or not it works for you. So you can always phone me and you can see my numbers scrolling there at the bottom of the screen, or you can email me at rack at nfsb.qc.ca. And together we're gonna look through what your experiences are. I'm gonna ask for some documents like your CV and a letter of um, reference from someone that you've worked with. It could be a client. You can send me photos uh, from a portfolio. So uh, almost all the programs that we offer here at the NFSB are part of the RAC process because it's a process. It's not necessarily a program. You're going to be working at your pace um, with your availability, and we're going to get you that diploma and on your time. So the programs that we offer uh, RAC in are accounting, secretarial, automobile, uh, auto mechanics, um, carpentry, uh, institutional home care, uh, institutional and home care assistance. So that's a big one right now, as you were saying earlier, Chuck, when it has to do with the health care. Some people don't necessarily have their diploma, but they've been working. They've been working as a PAB, but they need that diploma to be able to help out um, in the in actual institution um, environments. Um, what else do we have? Landscaping and horticulture. Um, and even residential and commercial drafting and hairdressing. Maybe you've been doing everybody's hair in your mom's kitchen. You've learned, you have those skills. And even if you don't have all the skills for the program, so going back to hairdressing, maybe you've only ever been doing cuts and, and washes and you're not a great colorist, you haven't learned that. Well, we're gonna work with you with our content specialists. That's what we call our kind of mentors and those that who are, are going to assess your skills. Um, and they, they're gonna help fill in those gaps that you're missing. We're gonna work together, we're gonna talk it out and we're gonna figure out what you're missing to get what you want. Excellent, thank you, Amanda. And it'd be fair enough for me to say, if anyone's not sure, don't be shy. Call you, email you. Just Call because me. they contact you doesn't mean they've committed to anything. Doesn't mean that they, you know, th don't stop because you're not sure if you have it, right? I imagine please contact you and you'll be the one who'll be able to make sure that if they fit the program, the RAC process, that, that, that we make sure they're started, right? So I think you'd like me to make sure that people know, don't be shy. Super no, absolutely. Nice. That's right. Yeah, and what's the worst that could happen? Maybe I will recommend the full program to you. Like that's really the worst that could happen. It's like I, I'm the the best case scenario is we're gonna we're gonna work together and we're gonna get this done. And the worst case is we're gonna find another solution. It's all it's all the end goal is making sure that you get where you want to be. We're always gonna be there to support you. Thank you very much, Amanda. Uh, I'm sure we'll have you back on the show again if we ever do. I look forward to it. All right. Thank you, Amanda. Bye. So.
Say bye. So that's basically, um, we'll finish up. We, we've done 25 minutes. It feels like, you know, uh, usually sitcom episodes last 22 minutes. We're already past our time. But um, I guess the final parts, Jamie, that I'd like to make sure is people go to the website. First of all, there's a start date tab, which tells you exactly when the programs are starting, how much it costs, and uh, kind of the right there, nfsb.me, uh, the graphics written there, and it's spelled correctly, so that's good. But go there first if you're not sure. And then, like we said, the, the process is you're applying online. We have an online application process where you literally go to the program, you click apply me and you fill in all the information that you need. We even gonna have a tutorial of how to do that if you're not sure. And if you're really not comfortable with that, you call the center and they'll walk you through every process that you need. But um, we have programs starting next month already. There's already things that will be starting next month and almost every month into the fall. Don't wait too long. I know that we kind of look at the March deadline for CJEP applications and all the things like that. If you think it's something that interests you or your child, I would strongly recommend that you start having the conversation. You can call the centers to see if you can get a, get a, a little glimpse of what the center is about to, if you've never been in there. Um, even during this uh, difficult time, we're finding solutions to ensure that if you commit to come with us, you feel very comfortable with that decision. That's, that's our goal. And I know that Jamie's audio is not happening right now, so that's why I couldn't hear her. And this is the only glitch that we had, but she can't talk. But this will be something that we'll play at her retirement party. Is that okay? Because at the end, you couldn't talk. So I guess I'll cut it. Thank you for being with us, everyone. We uh, hope you got some information. We plan on doing some more of these in the coming year. Uh, if you have any specific questions that you'd like to do, thank you to Jane. Thank you to Amanda and Jamie. And on behalf of New Frontiers, we wish all of you a very happy holidays. Spend some quality time in any way you fashion you can, Zoom or whatnot with your family, and we'll see you in 2021. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.